Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the new season of Big Brother. I know we were supposed to do it last year. I got distracted with wedding planning and my health kind of took a nosedive. Um, things are getting better though. I'm married and my health is getting better. So we are here to do Big Brother. I did save a lot of Sims to my gallery and stuff like that um, that you guys submitted. This household has been saved since last year. Um, so I did already have these sims picked out that you guys created. Um, as you can see, if you're looking at Michael Myers, he is, um, in a speedo. Um, so we are going to go ahead and introduce everyone in just a second. Um, but first things first, I do want to go over the rules. So I will not, I will link the actual Big Brother rules down below. However, I've made my own modifications and stuff like that, just like I did the last time. I did make modifications to my modifications um, to help things run a little bit more smoothly for me and just to make it more streamlined for you guys and get you guys more involved in it. Um, I am going based off of the United States Big Brother rules because that's where I live and that's the Big Brother I'm used to. Admittedly, I have not watched this season. Um, I don't know, Big Brother's been losing me a little bit lately, which makes me so sad because Big Brother is like one of my favorite things of all time. <laughs> Um, but I do have a list of rules over on my other monitor. So if you see me looking the other way, um, that's why I'm looking at my other screen. Um, so the HOH and veto will be decided via competitions, just like we did before. Um, the competitions this time around, I'm going to use a wheel. So they're going to be randomized. You guys will see it live. I'm going to actually do the first HOH comp to in today's episode. Um, so you guys have a chance to see that. Um, eviction nominations will be based off of the relationships that they have in game. So like, say if Michael becomes HOH this week, um, the two people that he has the least amount of relationship with will be the ones going up for a nomination. Um, if they're all the same value, which they shouldn't be exactly the same value, hopefully, um, then I'll probably just do a randomizer, like another wheel and we'll pick that way. Um, this time for evictions, we're not going to vote based off of who, like the relationships in the game. I want you guys to pick who's going to be evicted each week. Um, cause I think that's going to be a fun thing for us to do. I will factor in relationships. Like say if Michael really loves one of the other contestants, then him voting them out wouldn't be realistic. So I will base like the in-game votes based off of relationships, like in the cutscenes, if that makes sense. Um, let's see. Uh, POV usage will be based off of the relationship to the people who are nominated. I think we did that last time. So like, again, if Michael wins power of veto and he is close to one of the nominees, he will obviously use it on them. If not, then he's not going to use it. Um, the wheel will decide the comps. We've already been through that. There will be community voting for like rewards. So like a caterer, a movie night, things like that. We will do rewards at some point, just not immediately. There'll be like two or three throughout the season. Um, the have-nots will obviously sleep in the uncomfortable beds and stuff like that. Um, I believe I decided that the have-nots would be the two people who came, come in last in the HOH competition. So, like, if Michael and someone else come in dead last, like, they're the first two people out of the competition, they will become have-nots. That's kind of what we're going with right now. Um, let me see. I'm, like, losing track of where I was. You can obviously not become HOH, head of household, two weeks in a row. That is not allowed. Um, if anyone becomes sick, Big Brother will step in, aka I will step in and give them medication because we don't want anyone sick and spreading it throughout the entire house because that's just annoying. Um, let's see, where else are we going? Um, there will be four toilets um, and four showers downstairs instead of just one and one because these are Sims and they will pee all over the house and I... I don't want puddles of pee all over the house. That's just disgusting. Um, and all characters will start with cooking level two because I don't need them burning the house down. I worked hard on this. <laughs> um, as such, two of the characters currently have a level 10 photography skill. That's just because I needed people to take the pictures to put on the memory wall. Um, so in the game itself, we will be following the American version of Big Brother and their actual schedule. So every Thursday in game, in the game, not in the videos, every Thursday in game will be eviction and an HOH comp. Every Friday in game will be nominations. Saturday will be the POV comp and then Mondays will be the POV ceremony and then circling back to Thursday with eviction and HOH. That'll be in the game. I'm actually going to put it onto their calendar in the game off camera just so I don't forget and it'll actually pop up and keep reminding me. 
Um, but the schedule for actually me posting the videos. So every Thursday will be eviction, HOH, and nominations. Okay. Um, again, nominations will be based off a of relationship. Evictions will be based off of you guys. So between Thursday and then I won't post the POV and the ceremony um, until Saturdays. So between POV and Thursday, so between Saturday and Thursday, you will have time to vote of who you want to be evicted. Um, I will probably cut off voting for it Tuesday mornings. Okay. I will, in the episodes, I will detail when the voting gets cut off and all that. And in, they will be in the community polls. So on the community tab of the YouTube page, that's where the voting will be. Um, you'll have a, a little bit over like 24 to 48 ish hours to vote. Um, so that's kind of how it's going to go about. Oh gosh. I clicked on stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and introduce people. Obviously, this is Michael Myers. Um, if you don't know, I love horror movies. Michael Myers is my favorite. He's my best boy. I had to pick him. Um, Joey created him. Flamingo on um, the gallery. Um, all the creators will also be listed down below um, with their Sims name and their gallery name. Uh, so we have Mr. Michael Myers. He's and a beautiful speedo here. Um, over here we have Cora Latasho. I don't have these guys in order, which is my bad. Uh, this is created by Updog. She is super cute. Let's look at actually. Let's pull up their traits. Um, so we have gloomy, evil, hates children, and a collector. Um, Michael is unflirty, evil, mean, and dastardly. We have Lizzie Bear, who is Lizzie's sim self. Her username is O2 Lizzie Bear O2. Um, she is clumsy, a music lover, squeamish, and a muser. We then have Miss Jazz. Oh my gosh, I can't speak today. We have Jazlyn Neely, who she's one of my photography people, as was Miss Cora over here. I promise I will remember the names at some point. Um, she was created by Lindsay86. She is freaking gorgeous. Um, they're all really pretty. I'm, I'm biased though. Um, and over here, we have Miss Zoraya Forrest, who was created by Dead City on the gallery. We have Clay Holloway over here playing ping pong with Mr. Michael Myers. I also forgot to go over their traits. We have adventurous, non-committal, active, and high metabolism. And then for Zariah, we have neat, loves the outdoors, cheerful, and a quick learner. For Mr. Clay, we have neat, perfectionist, cheerful, and muser. And Clay was created by undead12111. I think it's three ones. Yes. Um, we then have Alabastior Crimson. I hope I'm saying the name right. I apologize if I'm not. He's actually, I believe, a twin. Um, he's also a vampire, so I did stock the fridge with plasma because I don't want anything to happen to them. Obviously, I can't control them, so they have to figure out their own eating situation, um, but it should make it pretty interesting having two vampires in the house. Um, so he's a snob, mean, kleptomaniac, and quick learner, and Alabast Alabastior and his brother were made by Mother Mother 18. And last but not least, we have Obsidian Crimson, also a vampire. He's clumsy, a bro, geek, and gregarious. So that's our cast of characters right now. Um, let's make sure autonomy is turned on just to double check. Full autonomy. Perfect. It goes without saying I cannot control any of the Sims. This is just what they want to do. But we do need to pick an HOH competition. So, oh, wait, I need to show you guys what I did to the house. So it's mostly the same um, after my renovation last year. However, I did add some fun like little Halloween decorations because we are going to be going through the Halloween season and we have Michael Myers in here. So I try to make these like these little lights fall color. We have some little pumpkins around. We have spiders. I did redo the kitchen to be like an orange, orange, black and purpley theme. I think it looks quite nice. Um, their photos on the memory wall have like a nice little orange and black theme. More spiders and we have a cauldron there. I redid the living room a bit to be more festive. We have some little tombstones and stuff. The diary room has that. Just some nice fall and Halloween touches to fit with the theme right now. I thought it'd be quite nice. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's fun. Um, I have not redone the HOH room yet. I will probably, I might touch it. I don't know, because I really like the way it came out. Um, we shall see. We shall, oh, I need to fix the wall up here. Um, I'll have to remind myself to do that. Anyway, we do need to pick an HOH competition so we can have our first head of households. Um, and then we will probably also do nominations. Um, so this will be airing on Thursday. So you're seeing live. I'm like talking to myself here. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do the first round of head of household and nominations and see what happens. Um, 
Actually, we might just do HOH and do nominations in the next video and just kind of lump it together with POV. I think that might work just for the first few, this, the first part of this. Because, um, you know, we have to go through in all the information, all the intros and all that fun stuff. Let me go ahead and get the wheel and let's get started. Okay, so here is our wheel of competition options. Um, I did save it so I can continue to come back to it and then remove the options that get chosen. So let's go ahead and spin and see what our first HOH competition is going to be. I'm hoping it's something easy for me to set up because like my head is everywhere. I spent like three hours setting up this save today um, and fixing stuff. Ooh, cake making. This should be fun. All right. Um, I'll probably have to set up like a bunch of ovens upstairs. So let's, let me go ahead and get that going for you guys. Okay, so we have everyone here at their little cooking stations that I've set up. I'm gonna have to click on them like one at a time to get started on the, We're gonna go by like the best quality of the cake. Um, so we're gonna do cook and see if it pops up. It should pop up. Yeah, we're just going to do, mm, let's do chocolate. <laughs> Cause I would like a chocolate cake. So that, that seems like a good idea. Um, oof. Let's get Michael ready to go here. Okay, so they are cooking. I forgot there's only like quality. Um, so she has hers already done. It's excellent quality. Um, we're gonna go base off of that. Um, resume your cake. They're getting like very distracted. I don't, did you just give up on yours, Lizzie? Um, the fact that hers disappeared and she gave up, I'm gonna give her one last chance, but she might have to be like a have not this week. Um, cause she kind of just gave up on it. Uh, chocolate cake. I don't even, I might have to turn autonomy back on actually. Um, just to make sure. There we go. Um, my game's being a little bit laggy. That's also why I had her restart that because it's been a little bit funky lately. Um, I don't know what's happening with it normal quality all right so she's not winning so so far she's the front runner who's is this who's is this oh my gosh a few of them are just absolutely giving up um if they give up they're gonna be disqualified um only the cakes that are actually made will count um and it seems like a few of them have given up who made this one was this yours buddy oh he had an excellent one all right we might have to have a little showdown between... Oh my gosh, what is my game doing? There we go. Come on, guys. Don't don't give up on me here. The ones... Again, the ones who left, they are disqualified. Um, his is also excellent. Who did leave, actually? Um, Let's see. She is here. She has her cake. You have your cake. She's working on hers. She gave up. Um... He did not. He has his. Oh, you you didn't bother. But he's still cooking. So it looks like it's gonna be Zoraya. Um, I don't know how you're talking to him when he's upstairs. It's gonna be Zoraya and I think Alabaster who are gonna be the have nots for the week. Um, again, whomever walked away first, and they did walk away. Um, because I'm not seeing a cake in their inventory. Um, the only reason I redid Lizzie's is because my game is kind of freaking out and I think she was at the point where it bugged on me. Um, oh, but she has an excellent one too. So we'll have them make like, I don't know if it's going to be another cake or what. How's yours? Another excellent one. Okay. I know one of them was not. Was it yours? Yours is normal. So you are disqualified. We're going to pop that in there and get started on the next round of the competition. Oh, it looks like we got some drama going down. Like... He was just about to yell at his brother. Guys, it's not even, it's barely the first day. Why are you yelling so much? <laughs> All right, so we got some cakes coming up. Um, I think the other ones are trying. Oh, you're cooking downstairs. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? That's fine. Oh, she did give up though. Um, she did indeed give up. So she is now disqualified. Uh, I'll have to clean that up later. She's disqualified. So... Let's see, Michael, are you going to give up or are you going to keep doing it? I guess we'll find out. Let's go watch upstairs to make sure that no one is giving up quite yet. Uh, where is Clay? He gave up. Okay, so Clay is not also disqualified. Michael is still going. He's still going for this. Let's go back upstairs and check on the other contestants up here. 
see how this is hanging out for them. Who is this? I don't know, it's someone who abandoned it. <laughs> Whomever is left standing, when I see cakes on the counter is when we will know. That lady is just doing her creepy creep walk. How you doing here, Mikey? You are not sure yet. My game is very laggy. It's probably because this lot is so big, I'm assuming. Oh, wait. She's she's making hers down here. Oh, it's because the oven. But he did give up. I think she also walked away. I think she walked away. Maybe? But she's going upstairs for some reason. Oh, a lot of people gave up. Oh, no. Who will be the last one standing? I don't know where she's going. Oh, Lizzie's coming back. Oh my, this is, this is a cluster and a half, guys. <laughs> Can she like not find an oven? Are they all full? Is that the problem? That might be the problem. Um, Let's see. So hers is excellent so, so far. <laughs> it's just her. That's so, so depressing, guys. <laughs> Is anything going on down here? Just a bunch of empty cake bowls. Uh, someone looks like they were taking something around. She's she's trying. She's really got to pee. Huh? All right. Her cake is in the oven. I think she's going to go around to the bathroom. Where are you going? I don't know what's happening anymore. There's cake. Oh, she's already eating that cake. Good job. <laughs> Like, this is a free-for-all. I'm fine. Oh, girl, I am so sorry. Lizzie, if you pee yourself. <laughs> I do apologize. Sure, you can be ambitious. I feel like you kind of have to be ambitious for a serial killer. Okay, so it comes down to the two ladies. Oh, I was like, <sighs> I thought someone had died. I'm going to be honest. I thought someone had freaking died. It's like, not, not already. They're both excellent, which is... Frustrating. Um, oh no. So Lizzie did indeed pee herself. I am so sorry, Lizzie. I am so sorry. <laughs> that was <laughs> not my intention at all. Um, I, I am curious to see, like, maybe their skill levels. We can go based off of that when it comes to cooking. It doesn't, is it going to tell me the percentage? She is at 1%. And she is at 45%. But she's level 3. So I think we're going to go with Lizzie. For our first HOH, this one, cooking was not a good idea. It was, it was a pretty terrible idea, and I feel kind of badly for Lizzie. Um, we're gonna go ahead and end this part here. I am so sorry. Um, it was kind of a cluster, but um, we have an HOH, and it's Lizzie, yay! Uh, so the next part we will have nominations. Um, we will also be doing power of veto. And then you guys will have a chance to vote on who you think should be the first evicted house guest. But thank you guys so much for, watch for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part. I hope you're just as excited for the return of Big Brother as I am. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!